I was I was actually tickled by what uh, uh, Richard said about uh, using using inclus inclusivity or inclusiveness as opposed to diversity. And one of the sayings that always comes to mind when I'm thinking about that is, uh, it's it's often said that diversity is being is being invited to the dance, and uh, uh, inclusion is actually being asked to dance. So it, 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 it goes to your point that inclusivity is actually the, the main thing, which is a feeling of belonging. Now, uh, uh, the poll is interesting, and a number of things in there which I think are revealing uh, the way firms structure and approach uh, uh, inclusiveness and inclusivity. And I think that what it, what, it tells, what it tells me really is that the tone needs to be set at the top. And I was pleased to see that a number of organizations uh, identify the managing partner or board member as being responsible for uh, inclusiveness. That to me is key. The tone needs to be set at the top. It needs to be authentic. It needs to be uh, uh, approached in a methodical uh, but big hearted way. And that tone comes from having a managing partner, a co-chair or a chair, or a senior board member being identified as responsible for the inclusiveness agenda. At, at BCLP, uh, you will know that two of our inaugural co-chairs were, were, were women. We were one of the uh, very few law firms, global law firms to have two women at the top. Now that wasn't uh, a design, it was simply they were the two who conceived the merger and made it happen. So for us, it's always been absolutely key to recognize that the broader the talent pool you have, the more likely you'll, you will have good ideas to take forward. And that, ha that has filtered through to uh, ensuring that I, as a managing partner, again, uh, not because I'm black, but I am a black solicitor who can see and can have different perspectives. So I think having the tone set at the top is absolutely key because people will take their cue from that. Secondly, is a recognition that diversity and inclusivity is not just a moral imperative. It's not just ethically the right thing to do, but it's actually good business sense. And I think that there is often a, a, a club of people in the firm who throw their hands up in the air and roll their eyes and say, oh, here comes the diversity agenda again. Um, we're not a charity, we're not a social experiment. Quite frankly, I have no truck with people with that attitude and I tell them that you, <laughs> you are a dinosaur and you don't get it. Our clients are looking to us for leadership and to reflect to the, the values which they hold dear. And if we, if we can't get with that program, then we're not in, we're not going to be a sustainable business. Inclusiveness is about building a sustainable uh, organization. And if you exclude large amounts of talent pool, you will fail. That's my own uh, clear uh, uh, answer to those naysayers. And I think the last thing you need to have is, as well as a tone being set, is a, a clear program of initiatives which result in action. I think we've all talked about messages and press statements and uh, good words being put out there. But our people know if we are walking the walk as well as talking the talk. So just simply saying, I support Black Lives Matter is not enough. You need to show that in action. It needs to be reflected in action to recruit, to retain and to promote talent. It needs to be uh, an action, initiatives that show that you value people being themselves at work, whether it's talking about their experiences, is developing empathy for others, whether it's having a, a recruitment uh, program that actually goes to where you will pick the most diverse talent. Words needs to be put into action and people notice if you don't. Now, I